Hello everyone and welcome back to Students of Gaming. Hi. This is Twain here. We Hello. have Tone to my left and KY to my right. Okay. Uh, we're about to go to the castle city of uh, Zarlin, but I'm going to show you, uh, since you last uh, played with me, uh, several things have happened. One, there are a shit ton of chocobos. Why is our party so big? Well, so we got we had Baco, we saved him, and then he bred with nobody, I guess, and produced all of these as his offspring. That's interesting. What? I'm going to get rid of them eventually because I don't ever use monsters in battles, but like, if you really wanted to use a red chocobo, they're pretty good. Is there a party limit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there is. Wait, so chocobos just produce other chocobos? Yeah. Look. Oh, wait. Where, where's the... Wasn't there a... Do the human characters produce other humans? Wasn't there an egg? Why, yeah. why it, oh, did it produce hatched? already? Yeah, it looks like it hatched. <laughs> why Never can't, mind. Why can't, uh... Why can't Tones, uh breed. Uh, well, even if you could, your what? child would be a baby and wouldn't be able to fight for a long time. Unless you wanted to wait 16 years. <laughs> Was that when ch children become a fighting age? That's, that's, when, that's when Tommy uh, started fighting in the chapter 1. Now he's 17. Oh, okay. Um, I also leveled up everybody about 4 levels. Nice. So... Nice. 10, you're at 10... Uh, the only person that's still in catch-up mode is Mirabelle, who okay. just that's a cool name. just is not getting it done right now. <laughs> you gotta have an archer, though. Yeah, it, it's good to have a, a, a somebody who's long range. Um, so we have a bunch of JP here that we'll use real quick. I, I try not to do it without you guys present, but as you see, Tommy has friggin' twelve hundred. Oh. Um, let's see here, Tommy. Yeah, we haven't played in a while. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. It has four four levels worth. So what have you been doing? Just grinding out uh, random random encounters or something? Um, yeah, yeah. I haven't been learning anything though. I've just been gaining the levels. Yeah, but I mean, how do you gain these levels? Like, must be random encounters, right? Yes. Yep. Just against monsters. Nothing special. Uh, goblins and ch chocobos and goblins and chocobos, nothing special, just your uh, typical. I, yeah, I suppose that sounds kind of ridiculous. All right, Tone. Your typical high fantasy. You have a thousand job points. What do you want to get? You get anything on this list? Uh. What is Asuna? That is uh, heals all status effects. What is wall? Gives you shell and protect, but it only affects one person instead oh. of it being a. I'm thinking like a party effect. Is there a party effect I can learn? Like amongst your entire party? No. Or like a like a like an area effect. Oh yeah, so uh, Suna's an area effect. Uh, Kira, Kiraga, both area effects. Uh, re regen actually might be. Let me. I don't know. What do you recommend? I'm yeah, re regen is a. Is, a, is an area effect. I'll, I'll let you decide. I'm just thinking some area effect. I know I, I, I could probably get a couple. Well, I think you should upgrade your cure spell. How many points oh, for oh. MP59? Yeah, upgrade that. Uh, we can just go with straight cure, I guess. Uh, Asuna seems good. Learn it. And regen's good, too. Uh, I can't get both. It's like I'm in a what store and your parents are like, you can get one thing. What's regen? Uh, so Down. characters will regenerate health over time every time they move. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's not like it's not as amazing as you think it is. Yeah. The only you Final Fantasy I ever them. really liked it on was seven because you're just constantly re regaining Do health. Asuna. All right. And KY. Uh. You have a bunch of night points. What would you like to do? Um, let's see. You want to be a lancer, right? I should probably make you a lancer soon once we can get the pole arms. Yeah, maybe a uh, rend armor. Okay, you have 537 job points left. Um. Did you want to do something in here? Oh yeah, wait a second. Parry. What is what is parry? That's counter. Oh yeah. So par yeah. parry block. parry's block. Uh, definitely parry. It's probably better than counterattack. Because that's like point. a like a, an active effect right yeah so it'll it's a it's a you'll be able to potentially block with your weapon whereas if you don't have parry your weapon will never be able to block an yeah, attack for you i would definitely get those uh like um, automatic kind of 
it's things that you don't have to cast. Rain shield. All right. Uh, and we are... Oop, let's uh, go ahead and equip Perry, because otherwise, what's the fucking point, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there anything else interesting? I gotta remember how I'm supposed to get a Lancer. Is it you level up Archer, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what's Mirabelle doing? She Did she do anything? She has 416. I should make her useful. That's the best aim in the game. In terms of... Time and efficiency. Yes, and... correct. See, K- KY knows. KY knows. <laughs> KY's got it down. Uh, and I think we're ready to go. All right. Save real quick because this battle's... Well, it's not hard. So this is a battle where you can choose to... Well, uh, well I'll show you. Yeah, sure. I, it's been a minute since we played, so... Um... So this, you can really fuck yourself if you don't do this right. Because you start off in this line... Um, but, let's see here. Oh, we, oh, we can still use four. Oh, that's right, because we have another guest, so we don't have to use Mirabelle anyways. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, what were you, what were you saying? Oh, no, I'm just asking about the upcoming battle. It's been a while since we played, so I'm trying to get, uh, yeah, acclimated here. Oh boy. Uh, generic swordsman. You've never, you've nowhere left to run. All we want is the stone. We needn't take your life. Uh, got an idea from Mustadio? Um. I could do something if you want to just give me a. Oh jeez, I don't know. How old is he supposed to be? He's like twenties or early twenties, like a bro. What's sure, there you go. What stone? Yeah. I have no stone. <laughs> Booze. <laughs> Do not play the fool with me, Mustadio. Do you forget that we hold your father? It's simple. Give us the Aurasite, and your father lives. Right then, seize him. <laughs> I have a message for your keeper, Ludwig. Or Ludovic. Tell him that if he lays so much as a finger on my father, he'll never see the aura sight again. <laughs> oh, shit, she's Irish, right? What trouble is this? I think that man is being chased. Is so, we can, we can, uh, save him, but it makes the battle way harder. Because those wizards over there will fuck him up. So I suggest we sooner avoid trouble, but we've no choice. So that the uh, e- either way, it's you're, you're saying you're gonna help, right? But we cannot stand by and watch. I, I yes, but the first one is actually defeat all enemies, whereas the second one will be save Mustadio. Oh, choose the first one because basically you're still trying. Right. Yeah, because that's what he says. All right. Is that me? Yes, that's you. This been. I'd sooner avoid trouble, but we have no choice. We must help him. All right. Defeat all enemies, which... You get a brave bonus, I think, if you pick the other one, but I don't think it's worth the amount of trouble it causes. Who gets the brave bonus? Everybody. Oh. Everybody. Yeah, see, like, that's... I hate when he moves over there. I like when he moves to the right so he can jump down. He's standing on a wall. We could have... We could have helped him. Well, the one good thing here is that I can... He's not going to die, though, right? Oh. It, it can very easily happen. But he has a name. Like, I feel like named characters shouldn't die the first time you meet them. Well, but he did... I mean, he won't turn to a crystal because he's a guest. But, um, I mean, he can still die. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's... I mean, he's not, like... The most impressive dude you've ever seen. He's I've cool. Seen impressive. Is he cool? He, well, he shoots. He he has a gun. Does he? Yeah. You he's, think guns are cool? In this time period, I, it's a huge I, advantage. I'm <laughs> sure. Do you think guns are cool? <laughs> uh, he picked. He target. Ooh, yeah. He targeted uh, tone. So I think this keeps me out of the range. I think this should be able to kill both of them. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Can I do anything interesting here? With I don't think so. I think I can just roll up. It's the second item. It is. So Tommy's just gonna roll up and try to swing some swords when we get into the uh the door, as is KY. Because unfortunately we don't have ranged attacks to make that interesting. Like these two, so I can shell the stadio and make sure that wizards won't just Oh, well never mind. 88% chance is apparently not good enough these hey, days. It's my first <laughs> attempt at that move. No, I I think it sucks that it, I think you got unlucky. I think you got very unlucky. And now he's gonna take a sh piece of fucking ice to the head. An ice boulder to the dome. Damn! Wow. Trucked. Oh, that's Thundaga for you. Now shoot that wizard. He has high jump, so you'll see him move around. Yeah, I saw him jump the. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, the gun has range, and it never misses. Is he going to join our party? Uh, yes. How does it never miss? Because it's a gun, and they can't avoid it. They can't he dodge fired, it. He didn't miss. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. He hit. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know. I guess we can protect uh, Tommy and... Do I? Ooh, wow, 100%. You and KY got some affinity going on. Yeah, just like in RL. <laughs> It, it, well, it's just interesting because KY's faith is really low, so like he's not supposed to have high. I believe in him. Oh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I, I guess that's the thing. He has faith if it's Tone that's casting the magic. <laughs> Otherwise, no, sir. That's funny. I don't think these. I it, it, when you get to the later chapters, you got to start uh, Minerva checking. Wait, that enemy has a name. They all have names. Oh, do they? Well, the first dude that was talking wasn't his name Soldier. His name was Swordsman, but like Swordsman. if you went to him, Swordsman. yeah, if you went to him now, he'd have a name. Wow. Should really make fundamentals his second ability so that he can like accumulate and yell and shit. Nope. There we go. Sorry, KY, you're just moving again. Sort of. You've been moving I've been again. Moving again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Tone is going to die, so let's go hide him. Can't believe they were able to reach him. Oh! Oh, thanks. Sweet. Hey, Glad I gave her uh, white magic. So, one thing I didn't say before, and I think I should make clear now, is that we're going to try to do a no special character run. What does that mean? So, a lot of these special characters you'll get as like... You'll get as, um... What's a special character? So, uh, Mastadio's a special character. Oh, uh, so he's gonna be in our party. Right, so, like... Special characters in that regard... Um... You, you'll be able to control them eventually, and... It, they're better they, than the default characters. So they're broken. I mean, some of them are... Yeah, it makes the game a lot easier. They're OP. They are very OP. Um, so, I thought I'd make it interesting. I mean, for one, that means we can just keep using Twain, Tone, and KY the entire time. Uh, although, Twain's kind of OP right now. <laughs> but yeah, like, I... I just think it makes the game too easy. and It'll make it a little more interesting to go through the game without... Because I've never done it this way. So, that keeps the game interesting for me as well. Okay. Um, but I mean, if you ever want to see the special characters, I, I can show them to you. Uh. Run? I mean, like, you see what some of them do beforehand. Like, Agrius, um, you see what she can do. You've seen her in battles. You see what Mustadio can do. Uh, there's only some where they just join your party and, like, if you don't ever do anything with them, you'll never see what their special talents are. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, all the special characters... God damn it. The special characters generally have something unique to them mm. that uh, the general characters don't have. Either like, either a class... Mo most of the time, it's a class. Like, no other character in the game. Like, so this is the only dude in the game with a gun? Mustadio? Well, he's the first dude in the game with a gun, but he's the only engineer. With a gun. He's just the only dude that is an engineer. Oh, I, I guess there's one other enemy that's an engineer. 
Uh, but it, it'll, his special abilities, because uh, chemists can use guns later once you get have the option to buy guns. Okay. Um, but his special ability is something called aim. And what aim does is you can target um, legs or arms. Uh huh. To what did you just do? I had to get the job points, man. Did Don't you worry. Just, did you just hit? Don't Twain? worry. You're about to smack Twain too. What the fuck, dude? Dude, you see? Don't do that. I'm again. smashing this. Uh, you just this hit battle. me with a fucking rod. I did. It's gonna be a lot less painful than when you hit me with the rod. Just for some fucking job points. Yes. <laughs> when you're in karate, do you not fight each other to learn how to? You can do spar. Karate you do whack the shit out. This of is sparring. A, we've we've been over that before. He was, you hit oh, him in the damn. back. Oh yeah, and you you knew that was coming because you already hit me. <laughs> I didn't want to miss. That doesn't help at all. You just fucking did that move and thought I wouldn't notice. What? La -la -la -la. What would be the point of that? I don't know. Spite. What spite? I'd have KY do it then. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. Oh man. <laughs> It's a very interesting noise. Okay. All right, now this uh, this should end things for them. They did not put up as strong of, of a fight as they probably thought they would. Should have chose option two. Wait, oh, save him? Yeah, would have worked. Damn it! Let me hit you. I'm gonna look directly at you. Alright, dude, can you... Yeah, I think you can hit her. Wow. Alright. So, we've saved Mustadio. We saved... Nobody... Nobody... I get... We've we destroyed all enemies. <laughs> Are you alright? I should be, yes. Thank you. You saved my life. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. The I... battle is won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Whenever I do that voice, I give like a head bob, and I don't know why. 7,000 gil? Seems a very bro thing to do. 9,000 gil total. Oh. All right. Well, on the next episode of Students of Gaming... Actually, I think there's a cutscene. Uh, street dogs running running for the the Bort, Bert, Bert. Bert Trading Company. The Bear Trading Company. Ah, then you heard of them. But they're no ordinary traders. I don't even know what accent that is anymore. <laughs> that business is only for front for more lucrative pursuits. Opium smuggling, slave trading, all, all manner of vile thing on a grand scale. What do you what did you do to draw the attention of such as these? I'm a machinist. Do you know the history of my trade? Yeah, yeah, don't... I'm good. <laughs> he shook his head like that. They say the ruins of a lost civilization be... Oh, lie buried beneath the streets of Gaug, the clockwork city. Relics from the age of Saint Ajora, when airships numerous beyond counting filled the skies and men of iron walked city streets. But the art, but the art of crafting such things was lost, if it truly ever existed at all. But it did exist. The grounds beneath Gog hold the bulks of airships and a thousand fragments of machines the gods alone know the workings of. A machinist toils to restore their lost legacy. To see these works brought back to life again. The device you used during the battle, is that one of these machines? What, this? No, put that away! This is a weapon oh, called a pistol! <laughs> Right it, it uses an explosive powder to propel a metal projectile towards its targets, and then they die. This is one of a simple make. There were once pistols said to fire projectiles infused with magics. Hmm. You're full of shit. So why do these hounds of the Barrett Trading Company chase after you? You said you are going to see Cardinal Delacroix, yes? The Cardinal is a hero who fought in the Fifty Years' War. To this day, the people of Lionel honor him as such. As does my father. 
He believes that the Cardinal is the only man who can keep the realm from descending into chaos. The Cardinal will receive you, hear your plea, and the Princess will be safe. And what is it you want? To go with you, I have my own reason for wanting to speak with the Cardinal. That being? To save my father! He is held prisoner! The Cardinal is my, is my only hope to free him. Wow, I'm feeling way too, like, <laughs> surface right now. Alone, I'm just another machinist. The Cardinal would never see me. That's why I would join you. You still haven't answered my question. Why is the Bear Training Company so interested in you? I... I cannot tell you. Not now. Mm. Then you remain here. No, I must go see the Cardinal. You must trust me, please. Yeah, we know you're coming. Oh, Jesus. Three characters for me, huh? Very well, then. You will come with us. You mean it? Thank you, my lady. Thank you. You stand before the princess. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's no need. You may rise. Then it's settled. We will trust to, we will trust to your word. All right, so we've, uh... All right, yep. We greased our party, you gotta do with a pistol now? Yeah, yeah. We'll be, uh, pistol whipping fools on, uh, Barius Hill is next. Balius Tor used to be Barius Hill. Apparently Tor is a type of hill. Uh, I, maybe. Just, I don't know. <laughs> In any case, uh, the next episode of Students of Gaming, we will go fight those dudes on that hill because it's red and I assume it's a battle. So until next time, class dismissed.